Wow. Look yes. at this. Yes. That's what we needed. Big mullet. Well, we're here at Carlos's pad, and uh, I'm going to go knock on the door and let's see the answers. Otherwise, this may turn out to be my first solo run to the East Cut. Yeah, this sucks, man. Uh, we had this awesome day planned to go out to the island. I know Carlos had some uh, 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 party to attend to yesterday. That coupled with uh, the lack of sleep and the rough day out there, that may have been too much and he probably needed the rest. I know I did too. I had my alarm set at three in the morning and uh, yeah, next thing you know, my wife is waking me up at 5.30 saying, hey, you overslept. So yeah, that's, uh, need to learn my lesson or maybe I need to pace myself and my body is just not used to waking up so early in the morning so often, especially after an active day. Uh, I'm gonna give Carlos one more chance, one more try, and then if he doesn't answer, I'm gonna have to take off on my own. It looks like he's gonna make it. Uh, it just seems like he's having a very hard time uh, waking up or trying to get out of the bed. And I don't, I don't blame him for that, man. I, I understand, but we are hardcore and we're gonna go, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get up, get out and do something today. A few moments later. People, this is the Walking Dead right here. What's up, man? It's gonna be okay, bro. It's gonna be Woo. okay. <laughs> we didn't waste any time and we're on the road to the island. But first, Carlos demanded his taco. Muy buenos días. Muy buenos días. Este, solamente les quiero decir que Bobby perdió la dieta. Este, acaba de comprarse cuatro tacos de harina. Eh, y me acaba de decir él que estaba en la Kiro Daeso, no sé, yo no sé nada. Bloguero, bloguero, te dice la gente. <laughs> We arrived at one of Carlos's favorite bait stops. Hay una escude. Me voy a subir al pinche canal y ahí los voy a esperar en el medio. Carlos spotted a large school of mullet on the other side of the bridge. He quickly loaded up and tried to creep up on the fish. Unfortunately, his throw came up a couple of feet short. The throw was at its maximum length and the net didn't fully extend. You can clearly see the you can clearly see the ripples in the water. You can see a lot of activity. We're at this uh what would you call this? It's just one of the many canals here in Cameron County. Uh, one of the veins. Yeah, one of the these uh, little areas of water here and we see a lot of activity. Unfortunately, I don't know if you can tell, but we're several feet up from the from the water's uh, water level and uh, in this little bridge and it is uh, kind of tough we cannot go all the way over there we're not here to trespass either so we don't we don't want to be doing any of that stuff that big school of mullet, like there's a huge of and we saw about four blue heron when we were when we got here uh, the one of these uh, the, the, those big birds I usually yep. get to see and um, so we kind of thought well maybe there's some activity here and sure enough unfortunately way over yonder that's where you see them wow. 
so close yet so far away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, they're, they're out there at their property. You know, it's a private property, so we we want to respect that. We don't want to. We don't want to. You know, go over the. Yeah, we don't. You know, that's that's very important, guys. You wouldn't want anyone to be going into your property for any reason. You know, so good sportsmen's. Yeah, you, you just maybe you just walk away from it or you just wait and you do your best. This is awesome. We just found another spot. Where the hell are we going? Oh my god. We got lucky and found another location. Yeah, we've been, we've been saying noise all this time. We need to stop with the noise, okay? We gotta kill the noise. Perfect. Just what we needed. So you were saying about right now we are trying to rush to the nearest stripes. Unfortunately, yeah, we do have an aerator, but you can't have an aerator without, you know, it doesn't it's not gonna work without the batteries. Batteries. So we need to go get the batteries right now. How much longer do you think before something bad happens here? I think that, uh, you know, one of the most important things about having bait fish in a bucket is your aerator. And of course, the water temperatures. Uh, you might want to keep that water temperature, you know, a little bit cool because when you start traveling around with this bait bucket all over the place and then that water starts getting hot because all the mullet are just swimming around and it's just creating more uh, you know heat on the water so we want to make sure to put a little bit of ice in there we're gonna keep them cool put that aerator to work and uh, and we should be good so uh, that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna get the batteries uh, for the aerator and the next step is put some uh, ice in there we want to keep that water cool and those fish Alive. Live, which is the most important thing, right? We want live bait. So uh, another another thing, uh, mullet live longer than shrimp, of course, and uh, they're stronger. So you can, you know, they could be without oxygen for a little bit more than, you know, your regular shad or shrimp. Carlos, I'm going to get the uh, batteries. You get the ice, okay? Okay. I'll be back. So, as you guys can see, my uh, sunglasses are fogging up because it was like uh, 60 degrees inside that uh, vehicle. Now I'm 120 out here, so yep, you can see the fog in my lenses. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna start doing this uh, preparation for the bait. We're gonna get the batteries, and of course we need the ice. So I'm gonna get us. I'm gonna put a little bit of ice in there. I had forgotten we have a little bit of ice in here, so we're gonna do that right now. Ouch, just hit myself. As you can see, those mullet, 
you can see them where they uh, they're they're feeding on the little oxygen you see those little bubbles they're feeding on them so they need that's a sign you know they're starting to uh, want some oxygen what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little bit of ice in there we want to we want to get that temperature that water temperature a little bit cooler That ice will calm. What this does is that ice will calm the fish down just a little. And then, you know, it gives it a uh, good temperature so they can keep, you know, they can stay alive a little bit longer. That should be enough. Um, now we're just waiting on the batteries. We should be good. Batteries. Yeah. During our happy drive, I hit a huge bump and this happened. There's always a first. We are drenched and I am not looking forward to Sandy's uh, smell in the future. <laughs> That's gonna be very interesting. We were not recording, but uh, we went through a bump. Bro. What? What do you got? There's jingles of bait right in the right in the edge. Okay. Stop, turn stop, 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 okay, stop, okay, 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 okay. Holy cow. Let okay. me just let me just cast one time. You go do your thing. Let me tell you, I got my cousin over here in the back. And oh, uh you're all wet? Yeah. I think she had a mullet fall on top of her head. I'm not even kidding about that. I'm not kidding fish all over the place that mullet that we caught just a little while ago we had a narrator in there we had fresh water we had everything we even put you know a little bit of ice like you know a few cubes in there to kind of maintain that temperature they're not alive anymore okay and when we hit that bump i think it was all the stress from all the driving and all that stuff you know everything moving all over the place and uh, what ended up happening is the lid completely completely dropped out of there um, and water was slushing all over the place and there's water on the roof good god it's gonna suck and uh, <laughs> yeah I had to go and uh, retrieve some mullet so now I have uh, Carlos he spotted some uh, he spotted some uh, bait right at the edge of the water here you probably can't see him over here but uh he is uh gonna give it a try and see if we can salvage uh some of the some of the bait i mean yeah dead mullet's still gonna work but obviously what we're looking for is live bait and uh unfortunately they died on us so he's gonna give it a try and uh we'll let you know if it happens or not that's what we need wow Look yes. at this. Yes. That's what we needed. Big mullet. <laughs> he spotted the mullet while we were driving. We're doing about 30 miles an hour. You saw it. Bro. What? What do you got? There's jingles of bait right on the, right on the edge. We're just driving, having a conversation. He spots the mullet right on the edge, gets out, casts, and he makes it happen. Wow. Carlos, we we're just talking about how you spotted this school of mullet. Yeah. What the hell, man? Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, we're just driving right here, and uh, I just saw like a school of mullet, and I just saw it like swimming around. I'm like, dude, stop, stop, stop. So we stopped, I cast the net, and sure enough, we got some big mullet now. So that, those are gonna be real good baits for big bull reds. See if we can, you know, catch them. But a big piece of bait, a big piece of a fresh mullet, I think that's the best bait out there for, for big red. So we'll give it a try. There's also some good news. Not all of the mullet, upon a, a closer inspection, 
we were able to find out that not all of the mullet died. Uh, some of it, some of them are still very much uh, alive right now. So hopefully it'll, it'll be a, it'll make a difference there, and, and we can take advantage of those live mullet. I mean, uh, the, and the other thing is the mullet that did die still very fresh, obviously. So we put them in a plastic bag, and it's in the in the ice chest right now. So we're gonna be okay. Oh yeah. Coming up in part two, Carlos gets spiritual in the hopes of landing the big gonna, one. You know, talk to the fish gods and uh, bring the good vibes of the big fish, and uh, yeah. that's uh, that's what we're doing right now. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Your support helps.